Okay, so yes, um, I'm playing in artillery. Now before you click off the video, this is cut up nicely so that you don't see the long reloads usually. And uh, it's actually quite interesting, this first, we have two replays, two, like, oh my goodness, clone guy, not only are you showing us artillery today, but you're showing us two artillery replays today. Yes. Yes, I am. Alright, I am. I am. I am. Because um, of the way I like playing my artillery, I, the way I enjoy playing my artillery is more um, as a m SPG, self-propelled gun. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing our self-propelled gun. And uh, and trust me, trust me, I think you'll enjoy these games a little bit. Just a little bit. These games are pretty good. These games are pretty good. Lots of action. Not like the normal stereotypical sit in the back and farm damage Spartan Elite. Um, we're going to be uh, going into funky positions and doing some funky things, pulling off some funky shots, and having a good time. Holy cow. So, why, Clone Guy, is the real question we should be asking. Are you playing artillery? Well, um, because we uh, retrofitted this tank with uh, some Area 51 technology, hence why uh, we have this orbital view from World War II, because you know there were no orbital views from World War II. This is obviously a lie. Take the grill, for instance, or the Hummel, or the M12, or the M7 Priest, or any other artillery unit used in World Target War II in this game. You can locked. see that they all have this orbital view. And a uh, nice casual penetration on that M103. Uh, but yeah, so where did they get this orbital view? Probably from Area 51. So that's that's what I'm betting my bottom dollar on. Is that that's where we've gotten it? And this is a Clan Clone Guy kid, so we're gonna be shooting locked. him because it's fun. It's like, ah, oh, you guys shoot me, I shoot you, haha. -ha. And uh, he's dead. Looks like he had fun. And now we're gonna change our attention to this guy up here, Super Conqueror. We hit and we set him on fire. But, let's get back to the reason why I'm playing artillery today, and do not worry, the reloads are going to be cut out, um, eventually. So, I was playing World of Tanks with the Rage Adrenaline, I'm still playing World of Tanks with the Rage Adrenaline. Oh, hello, Super Conqueror, you came back, and I'm loaded now. Um, this is not the actual reload of this gun, I just cut some things out. And, uh, we, I literally had three games in a row where, if I wasn't killed by Artie, I was at least mortally wounded by Artie. And, uh, it was always the same platoon. On the enemy team. Not always the same platoon, but two games in a row. We had the same platoon on the enemy Target. team. And they just yoloed us. Locked. They weren't ever able to kill us. But they just focused us, yoloed us, tried to kill us. And we're just like, alright, let's do it too. So we pulled out our artillery units to hopefully go up against them. But, unfortunately, um, this game isn't against them. Because we really wanted to just like, we'll show you how to arty boys. And now uh, that didn't happen. But... We do still have a pretty good game. We're up to 3,000 damage plus a blind shot. Spoilers, that blind shot did about 1,000 damage to the Super Conqueror after splashing him and then setting him on fire. But now we have to run from our position because our team has lost it. We have a medium tank behind us. Hopefully he can hold off. No, he's 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 not doing really anything right now. But um, So we're, we're targeted. We're targeted. We don't have six cents. All we have on here is Eagle Eye, so we know all the devastating things we've done to people. And resin arms to increase our accuracy, aim time, reload, all that other stuff. Can we get away? The 277 hits us and we have 490 health. He has a 490 alpha gun and we got away with that. We were very lucky he A, did not roll high enough to kill us. Or B, did not set us on fire considering he hit us in our very weak fuel tanks. Artillery have very weak everything. Your ammo rack gets hit and knocked out almost all the time when it gets hit. One shot by pretty much everything. Same with your fuel tanks and your engine and everything. Everything in artillery is super, super weak. You're like, aha, there you go, clone guy. That's how artillery is balanced. Eh, not really. If you're playing artillery, you're not really supposed to be shot at in the first place. However, when I play artillery, I like being in the heat of the battle. Not necessarily in the heat of the battle. I like being like a second line to third line tank. I don't want to be a camper in the back of the map. I want to be like near the front because now you're more accurate. You're closer to action and you just feel better about yourself. So here is a conqueror. We're going to be changing our attention to him. No, we're not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to hit him. But anyway, even though we are closer to the enemy, for some reason, um, the game doesn't seem to realize this. Because I had a really good first couple magazines, but now a nice well-aimed shot flies over his tank to, almost to the right. <laughs> even though it should have hit to the left, but hey, whatever. Aiming at his tracks now, and it misses him on the left. But not to worry. We have to kill this guy if we want to win, because we are now 
down a tank, Target and two of us are artillery. Locked. That one flies true. We have to finish him off here if we want any shot at winning this game, in my opinion. Come on, can we finish him off? Yes, we can. He goes down. Down he goes. And now we have to figure out where we want to go from here. And we actually just stayed here. Another one of our teammates goes down, and now it's time to run. I have to go up this way. They have a Conqueror, a Mouse, a Grill, and a GWE 100. And so we're going to be meeting up with Rage, who's still full health. So he might be able to take a hit from the mouse if the mouse rolls low, kind of like the 277 rolled low on me. And he can almost definitely take a hit from the Conqueror. He cannot take a hit from the Grill, though. So he's going to kind of be our eyes. That's kind of going to be the only way we're going to win this. And uh, our Oho, we're hoping our Oho is going to be turned around because... And he's not going to be. Because he can kill this Grill. But unfortunately, he was running instead of turning and fighting. The Oho had the Derp Gun. He could have easily killed the Grill. But uh, unfortunately, he had his back turned to him, even though the grill was definitely coming from there. But we're aiming, getting ready to come on this shot right here. We have to hit him. We have to just risk it. Boom! We hit the grill coming up towards us, and he goes down. Down goes the grill 15. And now suddenly, our 2 versus 4 becomes a 2 versus 3. And suddenly, we feel like we can do this. And Rage spots the Conqueror. We have to put every shell we can into this guy if we want to do, if we want to win this. So we're going to be aiming up this, this shell Target shot carefully. Locked. Fire it off. Boom, we put one shell into him and we hit his fuel tanks. We're gonna put another shell into him. Hopefully, Rage is keeping him spotted. There's another shell out. We hit him again and we track him. Rage only has two shots loaded in his gun because he used one on the gorilla as well, but he missed and another shot earlier. We put another shell in, we track, and we damage his ammo rack. Come on, Rage. Put some shells into him. He goes undetected and Rage hits, connects, and that had to have been a full penetration because this tank does not usually splash for 700. He goes down and he's going immediately for the reload and I am reloading as well. Now, we do not know where this mouse is, and sitting around for about a minute and a half to two minutes, we're just waiting for him to come up after us, but he never actually does. We're just aiming one way, aiming the other way, looking around, spotting in one direction, spotting in the other direction, spot up there, no, he's not there. And then the minute I go to run away, he comes around the corner, and he finishes me off. Not to worry, though. Rage Adrenaline has a plan. He's like, the mouse is not in the capsule yet. If I can jump into this capsule and be there for five seconds longer than he's in, well, yeah, five seconds longer than he's in his own, then uh, this should be a win, but he gets spotted. We don't know from where. We're assuming he's in some bushes on the left, behind a tree on the left. Maybe he spotted him. He's, he was in the like the little divot on the way left, now on his right, so behind those rocks. Um, so he's looking that way just in case he kind of caught a glance of him, and so he's getting ready. And now uh, we sped this up, of course, because he's just capturing the base. It's kind of a little bit boring. Come on, where is he going to come from? Where is he going to come from? So I'm going to ping the map here and let him know where I think maybe he could be. He could have been down there. Maybe just the top of his tank caught a glimpse of you as you're driving by. Unfortunately, though, that is not the case. He appears, appears from behind, but the GW does not have a very good aim time. A really narrow gun arc, so he goes for the rock. But RNG said no. And he finishes him off. And now you guys are like, wait, 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 clone guy. Not only are, showing, are you showing us artillery gameplay, which we do not want to see in the first place. But you didn't even win. You lost. Are you trying to depress us? Maybe. I don't know. I could be. Who knows? Now, don't you worry. If you're here to see a good game and a win and an ace and some more action with a brawling bat chat artillery, here we go. And as you can see, our team has completely neglected the right flank. So, Rage and I are just like, well... It's been fun. Let's get out of here. They're going to have the high ground, and we're going to be uh, not in very good positions to do anything, because we are going to be dead. So we're just running right now. We're like, let's get out of here. So that's what we're doing. This tank is very fast. Did I say tank? It is not a tank. It is an SPG, a self-propelled gun, an artillery unit, an orbital laser-guided missile. That's <laughs> an auto-loading laser-guided, orbiting laser-guided missile. I mean, look at, look at, we're looking from, from orbit, right? We're looking from a satellite. And now uh, we're just telling, using our laser, that green laser, to tell our shells where to go, right? That's what I was, that's what's going on, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what I read on the memo. Um, that they had these in in World War II. I figured that out when I uh, when I raided the uh, Area 51 yesterday um, with my T37. I read some things, some top saver things, and yes, they had orbital laser cannons in World War II because of technology from Area 51. This is a true story. I'm not lying at all. Why would I lie to you? Okay, well, we've taken a shot now, um, moving on from that, and uh, we've splashed a Death Star blind. Supposedly, we splashed the Death Star. Spoiler, 
it actually was the Death Star, so don't you worry about that. But now we're aiming at this 277, kind of hopefully putting putting some shells. He's driving forwards, he's driving backwards. This is a two seconds travel time, so we're trying to make this as careful as we can. There we go, there's a good shot. No, shell flies short. And we do not do any damage, but don't worry, we got him this time. He's standing still, we fire it off, and he's backing off. But we do splash him for 313 damage, not too shabby. Now he's backing up again. A nice well-aimed shot, and the shell goes long. Well, our RNG from last game has disappeared for this game. For now, anyway, for now, for now, for now. Actually, no, just kidding, my RNG does pretty much disappear this game. We just get um, really lucky with our plays, really. Play? Wait, you made plays with artillery? Yes, we made plays with artillery. But we've relocated further and further Target to the west, locked. and now we've got good shots in the sag pants. We put one shell into him, are we going to be able to put another shell into him? We fire it off. Yes, we are. We get a nice enough splash, and he goes down. Not too shabby. Now we're aiming back to this 277. Can we finish him off? Come on, gun. Hit him this Target time. Hit him. Locked. Shell out. And he goes down. Nicely done there. And we have one more shot left. Who are we going to use this on? Let's use this on those guys over there. There we go. Aim up a shot down that way. Who is going to be the lucky victim? Hmm. Hmm. So many choices. We're going to go for the easier target. The one that's not moving that much. And the one that is still currently spotted. It is you. Congratulations to your 9 tank. You have been chosen. Target Two and a half seconds of travel time. Shell out. Boom. 579. Not too shabby. So that magazine was really good. We went 4 for 4 with that magazine. After I just said my RNG is kind of broken. Now, I don't know if you caught what just happened to Rage Adrenaline. It's pretty funny and well worth your price of admission. Um, this 277 is aiming his gun at this Type 5 heavy tank, which you're going to see here. We're just following the heat shell fired at the Type 5. Rage Adrenaline is not spotted. He's 520 meters away, meaning he cannot be spotted. Here is the Type 5. And look at this shell. It misses him by literal millimeters. Millimeters. And then continues to fly and kills Rage, who is about 120 meters behind the Type 5. <laughs> That's pretty upsetting for him, but by this point we've relocated even further west and we're starting to make our way up north. And now we're aiming down towards our base, trying to help this E-100 out who's just been holding on for his life. The only tank on our team to go to the right side. And uh, he decided he was going to hold here as long as he could. And he actually got some pretty good assist ribbons. So I'd say this all in all worked out for him. We're going to go for the easier shots because this is a long travel time. We fire one in, <laughs> in thoughts that he was going to continue to drive. But of course, he stopped. He's like, I ain't driving that way. And now we fire another shell. Can we hit him this time? No, we cannot. The shell flies short. One more time. Third time's Target. a charm. Fire it off. Come on, gun. There we go. We hit him, but it was blind. We don't know for how much. Now we're going to change our attention to this IS-7. Can we hit this IS-7? Right there. Ah. A little bit poorly aimed, because that went exactly where I was aiming it there. Uh, we should have aimed a little bit further to the left. But, all in all, not a terrible magazine, considering the range. We did manage to score a two hits uh, one of them for only about 100 damage and the other one probably for 400 so actually in all in all not a very good magazine now this type 5 is trying to warn me about a medium tank who's coming but i'm not looking at him because i don't see a reason to like i know he's there but i have this type 5 with me and i thought for sure he would shoot him but he doesn't want to our type 5 is actually pretty useless in the game um and so we're gonna have to take care of this guy our type 5 in the position he's in he's gonna stay there for the rest of the game because it's high five players uh, but we put a shell on him, and we have an auto-loader, and we have an arc, so I know I can shoot Target. first. Boom. There we go. He's down. Dead. And we are going to now reload and hopefully avoid the artillery. Go forwards. Go backwards. T-57 Heavy. Are we going to be able to reload before this 57 Heavy shows up? This is the question we have to ask ourselves. I'm going to cut the reload, but first I want to show you what the Type 5 Heavy does, so you can all not do this. He's been hiding the entire time behind me. And now finally he decides, I'm going to poke up, and I'm finally going to do something. Um, the way, you know, the way Type 5 Heavies do it. Um, and he gets hit by a Death Star, and then he hit, gets hit by, um, artillery. Yes, the Death Star was firing AP, and he full penned him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is something you need to remember. That the Death Star is firing AP, because that's gonna come into play again. Well, now we're just about reloaded, and we're now aiming at this M103. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to finish him off, get him out of the game, Target. fire the Locked. shell off. 
Down he goes. There we go. Now we know the T-57 Heavy is coming, so I'm going to try to poke up here and maybe spot him a little bit. See where he's coming from. Is he behind us yet? Hello? Hello? T-57? Yes, he is. Tower Snap a shot, and we hit. He misses us, unfortunately, for him. And now we're just going to try to avoid him. We know our artillery is probably going to be aiming in the Type 5. Did get nuked by the Death Star, so we have to be careful. We <laughs> fly that one in, and it goes in. The artillery just misses us, and our Jagdpanzer 100 puts a shell into the 57 Heavy. And now I believe that's three shots he's fired now. Or is it there? That's three? Or is that four? I don't know. But uh, we're still trying to avoid this guy. We've got one more shot left. And he is going to be running away. Backing off, going for the full reload. Yes, he did fire four shells off. Maybe he fired one at the Type 5 earlier. Maybe I just missed one. I must have missed a shot. Obviously, I missed count. Because if he's going back to reload um, for a run-up, or is he? Because now he's coming back. Was that long enough? Fast enough to reload? Maybe. But here he comes. We're going to have to put one into his underbelly. But no! The Death Star puts a shell in, penetrating him and finishing him off. And now we just have to avoid the artillery by rocking back and forth. And spoilers, we're going to make it just fine. Going on my reload, I've decided to be the scout tank. And I found the nearest available bush. And I'm hopefully going to be spotting the Death Star if he decides to move up on us. And sure and behold, after only about a minute and a half of sitting in the bush, there's the Death Star. And I don't have six cents, so I don't know if I'm spotted. I'm going to try to get this shell off. There we go. That should hit. No, it goes long. Unfortunately, maybe let that aim a little bit longer. I don't know. But we got to spot him again. We cannot let him get close to us. There we go. We spot him again. Are we spotted this time? I don't know. But come on, Death Star. Our Death Star, can you please hit him? Can our Jagdpanzer hit him? Our Jagdpanzer, unfortunately, though, didn't really put himself in a good position this game. Um, he had a couple good shots, but then this late game, he's been not really doing anything. But, yeah, it is what it is. He's kind of low on health, and he's just been scared for his life this entire time. But us in this super heavily armored heavy tank slash light tank. No, wait, never mind. In artillery, we're going to be playing on the front lines, and we're hopefully going to be spotting this guy. There he is. Can we put a shell into him? Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to. You know you want to. We don't want to risk it. Artillery is aiming. We pull back. And uh, we've got it. We've just got to go. He's coming in after us, so we've got to go. Here we go. Come on, drive, tank, drive. You can do it. You can do it. And remember, this is a new crew, and that's going to come into play as well. There's artillery up there. Can our Death Star finish him off? Artillery aims at us. Death Star finishes off the GW. Was that the T92 aimed at us? I don't know, but we're out of here. We're going. But there's the Death Star. He respots us. Come on. Come on, miss us, miss us, miss us. No! Oh, he fires an AP shell and he only hits our tracks, our very front drive wheel. We turned right, right as he fired, and he is unable to kill us. And now we hopefully will be able to kill this guy as he drives Target. into our Locked. field of view, our gun depression, and we finish him off. Down he goes. And now it is a three versus one versus just the T92. We know where he was last spot, and that's up in the corner, according to Rage Adrenaline. So we're going to be actually, because we still have time to go for a reload, we're just going to be firing these shells off as quickly as we can. Get them off. Get them out. That way we can go for a full reload. Fire in that random position right there. Okay, fire in the very corner now. And then we're going to have just enough time to reload and get our shells off. That was the plan. Like, okay, got to get these off so I can now reload. The timer is now running out. Our Jagdpanzer is still sitting in the same spot. Luckily, though, he must have binocular telescope or optics because he is actually Target. able to spot Locked. the artillery unit. And this is our top gun if we can hit him, but it doesn't matter. The Jagdpanzer shell flies straight, and he finishes him off, and we win the game. Not too shabby. How is that for an exciting artillery match? Yes, an exciting artillery match some of you were just like no that wasn't exciting and i'm just liking the video and then, then, then i cry i cry but i understand that. i understand but we get the ace tanker in the bat chat 155 only 5,000 damage but it a lot of it was from point blank ranges and it was pretty fun i really enjoyed that game uh highly i highly enjoyed that game that was very fun just like the last one is a really fun game and um it, it was a lot of brawling involved <laughs> we fought the t57 heavy point blank the 430 version 2 point blank and we even fought the Death Star at close ranges, but unfortunately for the Death Star, he was firing AP, and because of that, he lost the fight. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Bandit, Gun Dingy YouTubes, and am I a terrible person for playing Retro Link? Probably. <laughs> but I still hope you guys enjoyed, and if you didn't, let me know. And I'll see you guys all later. Take care, and peace out.